Welcome back, my name is Benji. Today I want to welcome you to Le Sommet for the men's race. We've got 20 kilometers of basically what looks like flat terrain but has some pretty serious cobbles on it because it's not a green cobble section that you see next to the profile at the right top. It's a yellow one, which means that it's more difficult quite simply. And it also means that it's more likely that people will try to attack and be more aggressive amongst the parkour like it's a genuine cobble race. So uh, this should be fun. Starless wise, this is actually not that bad of a race. We've got Van der Poel here with Philipsen and Merlier, so a godlike team at Alpesin, and their domestiques are pretty great as well. Like Dries de Bond isn't even a real domestique. Ricard, Tamigno, and Richardson. No clue what the Richardson can do, so yeah, can't add on to that. But the Koenig with Seneschal, Tim de Klerk, Hodge, Steimler, Cavendish, Van Lerberg, Stales. Yeah, we're gonna select our team, and that was done by you on the community tab of my channel once again. Unimax or the Koenig was the choice, and you chose the Koenig with a small margin on Unimax, which means that I'll actually decide if I write each tree on the channel, I will write it with Unimax, which is gonna be really hard, but should be fun. So uh, that's kind of the plan. That way both people are happy, both the Koenig fans and the Unimax fans. So uh, let's dive into the Koenig here. But Mark Cavendish is in it, and while I would try to win it with Cavendish, he's only got 65 cobble, which makes it relatively impossible to do this, so uh, that's a bummer. Oh, Cavendish at the back as well, I was going to put him in the breakaway. 68 cobble on the day. Might actually try it, like, would it be completely impossible? I'll just have someone protect him and we'll see if it works out. Stales can do so for now, and I'll also be protecting, well, our other two potential leaders, which is Seneschal and also, um, what's his name? Tim the Cleric, because, uh, we're gonna try and win a race with the Cleric sometime on this channel this year. Because uh, I feel like that's a nice challenge. Give him his first victory. The guy does all the work for the team, usually. So I think he deserves to be in the spotlight for once. So that's gonna be a challenge I'll be taking on in the coming uh, weeks. I didn't actually mention what the parkour looked like earlier. So let's do that quickly. It's basically this same loop that we keep on doing for roughly four times. And we're about to start the first one as we speak. This first lap is a tiny bit different than the second one, it seems, but not that big of a deal. Same cobble sections and such. Probably just a run-in that's different. Anyway, we're gonna try and get some water before we get to those cobble sections. I'll do so with standstills here. I was gonna say Tom Stills, but that's obviously the Diaz of Quick Step and not the Swider. And I'm going to attempt to keep Cavendish at the front, not spend his energy, and see where that goes. If that allows us to keep him with relatively full yellow throughout these cobble sections and in position, then I see this happening, but otherwise it might become very troublesome to try and win with him. On to the first cobble section. Gavin, okay, good position. Doesn't seem to be losing yellow. Oh, we've got a crash. Danny Van Poppel, Boy Van Poppel, all crash at the start here. Capio as well. And they're all continuing their ride. We've got half the team of Seg behind. Oh, only two riders, not half the team. Oh, another crash. Hal Vorsen's down. Unimax is sprinter. Damien Godin, Brent Famour, and Bacard. Are these riders continuing? Yes. Great. No injuries yet. But all in all, the weather is certainly showing it because, uh, well, it's raining and we keep on seeing crashes. Okay, I just learned my lesson. All the cobble sections in the middle here, these three are not difficult, but the one in between the loops is hella hard and... That's where we need to be at the front with Cav. Because uh, right now, it dropped us from the front of the peloton to the back. And I'm only getting up at this very moment. So, yeah, not ideal. Got to get over the cobble sections. And got to focus on that one cobble section in between to keep myself at the front at all costs. I'm doing it very differently right now. I'm just using stales to keep Seneschal and Cavendish at the front of the peloton. And hopefully not spending any energy on them in doing so. And it seems to be working right now because I can basically just ride slower than the pace of the peloton and keep myself up here if I start ahead of the peloton before the cobble section. But the next cobble section is where it can get very troublesome, the one I spoke about between the loops. It's about to go down a good 1.4 kilometers. Let's up it towards 80 and let's use the momentum before the cobble section to fly onto the cobble section. Can I go to the left and actually get into a good position before we get into the cobble? See... Melir, you're blocking us, my man. And we're on the cobble section. Let's lower the tempo. And go towards like 65, 60. To avoid spending energy on Cav. 
Perfect. We're still up here. This strategy might actually work. I want to win this thing with Mark Cavendish. Attacking the breakaway by Wiedeberg, the same guy that was in the break in, uh, was it Kuhne? Yes, it was Kuhne for Uno X. Dude plays PCN, by the way. He was a on some Norwegian or PCN Norse community championships. That's uh, a fun fact for you there. No! No, 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 no! Fuck, 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 fuck! Ah! Oh my god, fucking game! The one guy that should not get a puncture right now has the puncture. Wait on him. Just wait. Hutch, wait. Come on, Mark. 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 Get to the front, man. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not good, is it? Like, why? Why did this have to happen? The worst moment in the race. Damn it, Mark. And Peloton's gonna split up right on the next section. I can feel it, like... Oh my god, Hodge in the wheel of Steimler. And then Steimler in the wheel of... Nope, Cav in the wheel of Hodge. There we go. And then this four-man train. Let's get this dude to the front again. Without spending too much energy, preferably. Because right now, we are spending more energy than I hoped I would. Next cobble section's coming up. And we know which one it is. It's the big one. It's the annoying one. The evil one. Rue de Bellevue. Let's try and move forward throughout. Come on, come on, come on. Van Lerberger, bring your man to the front. Ah, oh, this one's gonna hurt. This one's gonna hurt. We're not in a good position here either. Let's get to the front of the damn race. We're losing red on your boy, Manx Missile here. What can I do? I don't know. He's back, but he ain't looking too bright. Let's go 80. That's a move by Mathieu van der Poel. Oh boy. Where's Gav? Ooh, he can't follow. He can't follow. He can't follow. 65. If I if I have to wait for Gav, then Vanderpool's winning this. <laughs> but uh kinda have to do something, you know? Other people are gonna react though, so that's good. I need to lower it. 65. Come on, Gav. Come on, Cav. Gotta keep on following, man. They're catching Van der Poel. 12 seconds, lower the tempo, regenerate that yellow, and beat the Côte La Roquette, which is the next one. Let's move forward. Yellow allies with an attack, let's go on 80, 85 if necessary, and let's lower it past the cobble section. Next cobble section, oh my man, Cav, 11 kilometers, how will I survive that with that energy? There's no way I can, and definitely not with this tempo, holy fuck, what are they doing? Oh my god. Dimitri Kleis, let's lower it, lower it, lower it. 60. I gotta do something. That's your man. That's Mathieu van der Poel. I'm losing this if I don't do anything now. I don't know. What can I do? That's 30 seconds to the front of the race. I can still control that, I hope. On to the next couple section, 4 kilometers. Mark Avenish with hardly any yellow. Let's go to 85 here on this uphill section. Let's hope that Van Mark or Hofstetter closes the gap. That's another attack. Six kilometers. Yeah, this is uh, almost done, I think, for us. Gav is not surviving that next cobble section. We're gonna have to switch plans. Oh my god, really? Let's hope I didn't ruin it by uh, waiting, basically. It's 99 it on the Klerk. Onto this cobble section. 30 seconds to the front of the race. There we go. Gav in the wheel. He's got no red and yellow. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. Nothing. The man has nothing. I gave the victory away. I gave a victory. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to go myself already. Fuck it. Too early. I don't care. Seneschal, Barbier, Philipson, Van der Poel. Philipson is gonna win it. Seneschal is gonna try and come around. No! Van der Poel is winning it ahead of his teammate. I bottled it by focusing on Cavendish. Oh, so sad. What a brave man. I'm betting you, without the puncture, he would have won this fucking thing. Match uh, another tree, last time as well. Van der Poel, Philipson, Seneschal, that's the top tree. Cavendish not in the top 10, but he tried okay. And all in all, I don't think he came too far off, like 26th. I think that's better than in real life. I think in real life he was 28th, so uh, yeah, 
We beat reality once again. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, tap that like button. If you did not, tell me what's wrong. I'll try and make it better for you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.